Hey folks, Devil's Head here. Uh, episode 5 of Vox Machina. React slash review. Mostly react, but a little bit of review. Uh, yeah, what's it called? Fate's Journey. So I guess they're on a journey to the Briarwood stuff. I guess Fate's Journey ties into what uh, Pike is doing though, because she kind of questioned herself and her god and stuff. So because the amulet broke after she got hit with that spell in episode 3 so we'll see where that, that leads us uh, the team was attacked when they were chilling out at home on house arrest by raids maybe not too sure feel free to to comment and let me know i'm like literally not gonna look up anything in this show just gonna fucking try and remember it and see where i get and also they still have the book and it looks like the remaining six now are on the way to uh, Briar Briarwood to, to take some names and kick some ass. Um, and yeah, Keyleth is taking over from the healing point of view, maybe? Not sure. Uh, also, she mentioned something about Armenthe, where she has to finish it before going back to her family. I imagine it's some sort of like leveling up process or getting to a certain amount of experience as a druid if that's what she is yeah she is because she shapeshifts and stuff so a bunny rabbit that's really useful um yeah so let's see where episode five brings us oh and before i forget feel free to uh click uh, subscribe if you want be cool uh yeah let's get kicked off Okay, here we go. Fate's journey. Stop! Exciting. Get back here! Before. You see him? Oh, they need some info from Gilmore. <laughs> That's the same color magic that uh, Scanlan does. Wooden stake. Perfect. Special. Oh. I'll take these enchanted arrows. And as much garlic as you can spare. Ugh. I don't want to know. No, that's a lie. I absolutely want to know. Her. What's this all about? We kind of pissed off a vampire. And our healer's out of commission. Mm. Then may I suggest the addition of something special? Holy water. One of the only things truly known to stop a vampire. Well, that mm. and direct sunlight. Oh, thank you, Rodrigo. You're a gem. <laughs> One must have a bit of company while handsome half elves are all thwarting evil. <laughs> I bet you through that door. It's magical servant? Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Um, you mentioned uh -oh. about sunlight. <laughs> oh, yes. But you need more sunlight <laughs> than summer in market. Oh, cool. Thanks, Vax. <clears throat> oh. oh. Speaking of secrets. Oh, indeed. For your friends, how much is this going to run us? Hmm. I mean, all I can make out is one word of Delilah's craptastic scribble. Something called a zipper twat. Uh, okay, yeah, actually, I think it's a <laughs> ziggurat. <laughs> oh, thank God. Because what I was picturing was like. <laughs> Whoa. Super twat. Teaching me stuff like this for my arm and tech. Brilliant. Zipper were ancient structures used for contacting gods. Oh, Armente. Oh. Wish I could help more, but I fell asleep a lot in ancient abyssal class. Shirts was friendly, whatever it is. Oh, poor little puppers. Are you hurt, <laughs> little guy? <laughs> oh, that's nice. I can use the book. That's some evil demon summoning looking shit. I don't, oh yeah, there's more. <laughs> They're gonna play football with him. Toss him around. Ooh. Come on, Percy, faster! 
He <laughs> split the doggy in twain. <laughs> oh no. For horses. At least they got their arrows in the holy water. Uh oh. We lost everything. Huh? I mean, at least we still have our holy water. Oh. No. <laughs> Is fucking nasty. Excuse me, did we win a prize? Yes, little one. You've been chosen oh. for a very special event. <laughs> what the fuck? Isn't that like what um, Pike was wearing? How many were there? Was there seven? Are they making like uh, voodoo dolls of the of Vox Machina? Nevosh nevon, clunehon. Makes a handsome I like it. Nevosh nevon, clu. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, yeah, now I'm confused and aroused. <laughs> Hands off. What the? <laughs> How the fuck do I look this good? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Hey, bike. Yes. How may I be of service? I. I need the Everlight. dark. Okay, this one was <laughs> awesome. So what? Yeah, sounds pretty normal for you. No, no, no. I, I haven't gotten to the good part. Yes, yes, huh? yes. Oh, what the fuck? What? I still finished. Brilliant. How about you, Percy? What's the worst monster you've ever faced? Percy's not into. Percy's not into this game. They're in Whitestone. And we'll all be facing them soon. A fucking downer. <clears throat> Pause, girl. It's beautiful. Lush. Orchards always in bloom. Thanks to I don't think it looks like this anymore. They say it was planted by the Dawnfather a thousand years ago. We're here. Looks a little bit fucked up. What have they done? I mean, it's called a sun tree. What the they're fuck is that? They're beefing. They don't see you. Come on. Percy, you okay? I was right. That's fucked up. All right. 
There we go, episode 5. Uh, the Fate Journey, which is just said there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. The crew got their way towards this area that I can't remember now. Briarwood, the uh, book is gone. They nearly got fucked up. They've lost their holy water. How are they going to take out the vampire? I don't know. Now I'm saying that we have... Well, this is five, so we have... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, twelve. So we have seven episodes left, so... I mean, a lot can be done in seven episodes, I guess. Uh, and we saw Pike just arrived at the... Uh, I don't know, chapel or place? Ziggurat? Also, yeah, Ziggurat was mentioned about a place where you can get more in touch with gods or something. So, yeah, really good, really interesting. Bit of story building as well, bonding between people. Um, it was a Vex or Vax, Vax, and uh, Keyless. A little bit of romance going on there. So, we'll see where that leads. And yeah, what was that big fucking giant thing? Be interesting to see. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one.